Hey everybody, this is Firegolf522 here with my first hammer editor tutorial. Well, more like a remake. But um, if anybody didn't notice that these tutorials are on a different YouTube page now, um, mainly because on Burning Fire God they were just Burning Fire God's wire tutorials and whatnot. This is hammer editor tutorials, so. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open up Source SDK. And once you have that open, we're going to choose our engine version and the game version. I'm going to use Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and current game, Counter-Strike Source. Mainly because I feel like it. And it would be... There's not really much of a difference. If you choose the Orange Box engine or whatever game, um, yeah, it won't really matter. Anyways, go ahead and open up Hammer Editor. And what we're going to start off with is a... Um, little box, if you will, that's going to be our playable level. So we're going to go to Browse, and we're going to search Tools Sky. Now basically this is going to be our skybox section. You know, you look up in the air and there's the sky on your map. Well, this is pretty much going to solve that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get this block creation tool, or brush tool. It makes brushes or what we call um, little like ground or whatever. So we're just gonna go ahead and just make a box. And when you have your box or whatever scaled to wh however you want it, we're just gonna hit enter and it'll make our box. We can get our camera tool right here and drag it and point it at the box. Now you can see you go inside the box and wait, I can't see anything. It's wireframe and whatnot. Now what you do is you click on the box and you hit control H or you right click on the box in your grid view and choose make hollow. And what this will do is you choose how hollow you want the walls to be, you hit OK, and then you can suddenly go inside of here and look, it's a playable level. You can walk around. But here's a problem. If you do this, then you're just going to see nothing but a sky everywhere. And we don't really want that. We want a complete level that you can like walk around in that has like, grass and whatnot. Okay, so what we're going to do from here is that we're going to go ahead and where it says solids, we're going to click on this. We're going to click on the bottom right here. Now we can go, now you can see it just selects the bottom piece. You can do that or you can get the face edit sheet or the texture application tool. Click on the bottom and then search for texture and choose grass or whatever texture you want for the ground. I have a bunch of imported textures so if you guys don't see this it's no biggie. Once you think you found a good texture then just apply it and you can see we have grass now and the rest of the map is still skybox. But that doesn't matter because we're not going to be outside. We're going to be inside the map looking around. Okay, so once you're, once you have done your grass or whatnot, let's go ahead and worry about compiling your map. Just like groups, adjusting it. Okay, so now everything everybody knows. Well, most mapper knows that you can't really have a map without a start or a player start of some kind. So we're just going to go ahead and choose Info Player Terrorist or Info Player Counter Terrorist or Info Player Start. Or if you're using TF2, I believe it's um, um, Info Player Red or Blue or whatnot. Um, yeah. So once you have your starts down, uh, I'm doing Info Player Start. Okay, so once you have your players down, this will make it to where when you load up the map, you're going to be able to um, walk around. So, so here's our little skybox map. That's going to be our skybox texture. That's going to be our grass, and that's where we're going to spawn at. Since this is a basic map and nothing like important lighting detail or whatnot, we're just going to go ahead and hit F9 or click on the little run map button right here. Then you're going to choose normal or fast whatever but normal's better 
Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and compile, so I'm going to pause the video and be right back with you. Okay, now once your map has loaded, we're going to go ahead and go to our game that we loaded up in. I already have that right here. Uh, it's paused for some reason. It's frozen. Okay, so once our game or whatever, I'm using Counter-Strike Source, whatever game you're using, we're just going to go ahead and go into our console, which is the little squiggly line button. I can't really type that out. Anyways, um, so we're going to just type in map and then the map name. So I this is called a tutorial map, so tutorial map. And then load it up. And after it's done loading up, you can see there's a map with our counter terrorist spawn. And change the hand to terrorist. I'm a terrorist because I have my spawn point over here. Okay. So yeah, basically that's how you make a simple little map for Hammer Editor. Oh, that info player start you made, that's going to be for like, I don't know, debugging or something. If you're using like Gary's mod like I used to, like I like to use. Uh, okay, just time out. Anyways, uh, if you use Gmod like I like to use, uh, info player starts is going to be where player spawns. It just uses whatever. Anyways, this has been FireGraph 522 with my first Hammer Editor tutorial remake teaching you how to make a simple map in Valve Hammer Editor. Have fun, don't burn yourselves.